Welcome back to the channel everybody. It's your friendly neighborhood Armenian here with another video. Today I'm going to be covering five things I love about my GR Corolla Circuit Edition. So I'm going to keep this intro short. Let's get right to the topic of the video. Got my little help for Lola here in this video. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi Lola. These lists are not in any specific order. It's not like a one through five type of thing. It's just things that in general made the top five list, if you will. So the first thing I want to cover is the interior of this car. The GR Corolla comes in three trims currently. You have the Core, you have the Circuit Edition, which is my car, and then you have the Morito Edition. Based off the Core, you have cloth seats, you don't have proper stitching everywhere, not a lot of leather, not a lot of soft touch points for some reason, and it just doesn't seem as premium inside for the price point. But once you go up to the Circuit Edition, the interior is significantly improved, in my opinion. You have red stitching everywhere, soft touch material on the doors, on the inside, the bottom console, the center console area. You have red stitching all over, red stitching all over the steering wheel. The seats themselves look a lot better than the Core Edition. You have leather and suede insert seats. You have red stitching all over the seats in the Circuit Edition, whereas the Core gets cloth seats. So in my opinion, that's just, it's just so much more premium in that aspect. The back seats are the same. You get red stitching and soft touch leather, and you get leather and Alcantara inserts as well. The interior quality looks wise in the Circuit Edition, in my opinion, is just significantly more improved and just better overall. Definitely worth the money, if you will compared to the core edition. The gauge cluster itself, it is super crystal clear. I actually think that Toyota calls it a crystal display. A beautiful looking gauge cluster, crisp, clear, bright, very easy to see, pretty customizable. I have it set up to have the boost gauge on the left and on the right I have multiple temp gauges listed here. I have the giant tachometer in the center, a giant shift indicator which gear you're in. That's customizable. You can turn that off if you want. The gauge cluster itself does change when you switch drive modes as well. So when you're in eco or comfort mode, it stays to this traditional looking tachometer. But when you shift it into the sport mode, it changes to this more track oriented horizontal tachometer. Moving on to the next thing that I love about this car is the look of the car. So I just think it's an absolutely beautiful looking hot hatch in my opinion. I bought the car in the heavy metal gray color. I recently had the car fully PPF'd in stealth as well as having it ceramic coated. So you can see here it's got more of a matte gray look. I, I think that makes the car look even better but in general just the body lines of the car, it looks wide, it looks aggressive. The hood bulge, the vents in the hood, front intercooler and the grill just look super cool. You can see it says GR4 sprayed on the intercooler, pretty boy racer but I think it looks really cool. I just love how the car looks. It's really wide on the back, it's just very aggressive looking and you have the really really cool forged carbon roof. It just looks super cool. I think it, it just adds like a nice touch to the car to give it more of a sporty premium look. I just love the way the car looks. It, it's, it's just a great looking car. The next item on the list, I want to talk about the handling and how the car drives. So coming from my Mark V Supra that I had, which was a great car and had adaptive suspension, it definitely handled okay for the car that it was. But as soon as I started driving the GR Corolla, this thing from the factory really does drive and feel like it is riding on rails. It's super precise, especially when you put it in the sport mode and the steering sensitivity gets a lot stiffer and just more responsive. It handles excellent. It takes turns phenomenally. Uh, I haven't done any track driving, but it just feels really, really good. I, I, I really do love and appreciate how the car handles. And the throttle response is just it's excellent. Handling is great. I love how the car drives. It just feels planted. It feels solid. The other thing to go along with the driving experience is the way the car sounds. It really reminds me of how the WRX and STI Boxer rumble sounds. I'll put a startup clip here and a couple revs. It just sounds beefy and burbly and rumbly and it just, it just sounds mean.
doesn't sound like a three cylinder. And when you're driving, you can really hear it. The turbo whooshes and whistles and blow offs that you get from the engine and the turbo itself. It's just, it's really fun. And I haven't modified anything aside from the, getting the PPF done to the car. The car is completely stock, so it just sounds excellent. It's very engaging with the sounds and the blow off that you get. I really do feel like a kid again driving the car. It's just really fun. It's enjoying, it's enjoyable. Not the fastest car in the world, but it's engaging and it's fun. And I, I just appreciate all the sounds and the experiences with the driving the car. Another thing that I love about the car, living here in Massachusetts, we have some pretty brutal winters with no storms and it just being cold in general. And I really like that the car comes with heated seats. It comes with a heated steering wheel. It's, these are standard on the circuit edition. I know you can option it on the core trim. The car does come with some creature comforts and, and I really do appreciate that because I will be for the most part daily driving this car. The car also comes with adaptive cruise control if that's something that you're interested in. I really haven't used it yet but it's great to have that feature, very easy to use. It also comes with lane keeping assist and blind spot monitoring which are very, very much appreciated. The visibility of this car is excellent. It's just tons of glass everywhere, very easy to see. Speaking of how the car drives, I love the shifter in this car. It is very notchy, but very smooth and very precise to drive. The shifts are pretty short from factory and it just feels really, really good. I recently drove the new Acura Integra Type S and nothing beats the Honda six speed that is in the Type R and the Type S. This isn't anywhere near as good as the Honda six speeds, but it's definitely up there and I really do like how it feels and how it drives. It's very easy to use. It comes with auto rev matching. You can turn that off if you like, which is excellent. But overall, it's just a really, really fun car to drive and I love every aspect of it for the price range. If you can get it for sticker or below, it's definitely worth the money, in my opinion, if this is something you're looking for. So that's gonna do it for this video today. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. I'd really like to hear what you all think about the car, what you all thought about my points. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I really appreciate all the support. And if you are stopping by for the first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Tons of GR Corolla content and just car content in general coming real soon. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Till next time, peace.